I have found the must-have summer accessories that will take your outfit to the next level. Hey everyone, it's Kathy, and summer is here. Well, not officially till the June 21st, but you know what I mean, the weather's getting hot and humid. So it's time to level up your summer accessory game. Here are 15 summer accessories that you absolutely must have in your wardrobe for summer 2024. Sunglasses are a must and if I might recommend if you wear prescription glasses I highly recommend getting your prescription put into your sunglasses. This has been a total game changer for me and I could never go back to wearing sunglasses without my prescription. Because my prescription is for close up reading but also for distance, I need my to wear my prescription for driving. So it has really been a game changer for me in the last few years when I get my prescription put into my polarized lenses. I also recommend polarized sunglasses. Especially if you are sensitive to light, polarized sunglasses are a total game changer. I can wear them outside, I can do my garden work, I can read a book with them, I can even read my iPhone. And if you wanna go a step further, I am very sensitive to sunlight and bright lights, especially when driving at night. Well, I wouldn't wear my sunglasses when I'm driving at night, but my point is, if your eyes are sensitive to light, I really recommend going with brown lenses. I have tried all different colors, and for my particular eyes, I do find that the brown lenses offer me the best protection for you know having sun-sensitive eyes. So I always wear Ray-Ban. I keep coming back to them because I feel that they are flattering for my face shape. Because I have a round face, I like a more of a rectangular shape uh, glasses frame. But I also like the Ray-Bans because they've been around forever. They're stylish. And I will link different price points for everything that I'm showing today. Uh, I do have my eye on a pair of Gucci sunglasses that I may gifts to myself for my birthday. I haven't decided yet. Next up is a wide brimmed hat that is going to protect your face from the sun's rays but also add a little pop to your outfit. Now this particular hat is by this brand. I have no idea how to pronounce it so I'm just going to put it on the screen but I love it because I can wear this whenever we're out and about during the summertime and it just, um, you know, brings like a plain outfit, just adds a little bit of pop to it. Plus it's gonna protect my head from burning, but also protect my skin from burning. If you're looking for something a little more budget friendly, I recommend this. I bought it from Old Navy. I wore it every single day in Hawaii because it is so windy in Hawaii. I didn't wanna bring my good hat, but this is a visor, so it's open on top but it has a really nice wide brim all the way around and it really helped to protect my face. The nice thing about it is that it has a Velcro closure. So, you know, if you have a smaller head than me, it's certainly adjustable and it's only in one size, yeah. And how I packed it was, you can just roll it up. So it takes up very little space in your suitcase. You know, you can roll it up smaller than that. I just did it quick just to show you. But I will uh, link a bunch of different hats as well from Amazon and at different price points as well. Don't forget about having a trendy straw bag to help you carry your things from the grocery store or if you're going to the beach for the day. I have three to show you. This one is from J. Crew. It does have an open top. I just have it stuffed with paper whenever I'm not using it. This is last year's model, but uh, it's available I think every year and it uh, has different colored handles. I think there were three choices. I also really like this one for whenever I'm going to the beach or on a cruise is from Vera Bradley and I picked the one with the tropical fish but there's all different designs you can get. This is an open top but it does have one zippered compartment. So you know if you want to keep your phone in there it is lined on the inside. It's the type of material you know if you get it wet it's not going to be a problem. And this is a really uh, cute bag. I've had this for probably about five years now and I really do like it. And then the newest addition to my tote collection I bought this from Talbot's when they had a sale on, it is stunning. And it's just a palm leaf design. It has an open top. 
it is lined it has a, um, a zippered compartment and then there's two other slots here that remain open super cute this is great to have in your car because if you live or a place like i do where they no longer supply plastic bags when you go shopping if you're just going into the grocery store for a few things or even if you're going into a store to buy clothing you know this is handy to take with you and you just pop your purchases in there and this is going to last forever because it's it's made out of canvas it is so well made so durable that uh, and it's super cute and the next thing that is awesome to have as a summer essential is just a lightweight scarf you've seen these two scarves before they're by the brand Ovsio. This is a lightweight cashmere scarf and it's available in so many beautiful colors. It's really, really large that you could use it as a shawl, you could use it as a wrap, or you could just tie it around your neck and then create like a vertical line down the center of your body and that just helps to make you look thinner. It brings the attention to the scarf. I also have some scarves that I'll show you here uh, from Amazon. They do the same thing as, you know, these things. If you want a little more bu budget-friendly option, I also have this scarf from Amazon. It has butterflies on it, but they have a ton of different designs. And I like scarves. I have scarves from all over the place, all different price points. I like wearing them in the spring and in the fall, a lightweight scarf just around my neck as, you know, it's still a bit chilly. But this is also great to pack in your uh, airplane bag if you're going on a flight because you know sometimes it can get chilly and sometimes they don't always supply you with a pillow and a blanket. That was uh, the case coming home from Hawaii last week. So I was happy to have my scarf in my carry-on bag because with the air conditioning and overnight flight you just want to you know feel snugly and uh, these are such beautiful scarves. And for those hot summer nights a beautiful bold statement necklace can just take a basic plain t-shirt and really amp up your outfit so i have a few suggestions for you the first one is this beautiful freshwater pearl necklace that i am wearing you've seen me wear it in the past it is freshwater pearls it is made in japan and uh, it has this beautiful red um, bead on the necklace it's really stunning and uh, this looks great you know with a nice dress it also looks great with the top that i'm wearing or even just a basic t-shirt if you put a necklace on like this it's just going to elevate your look put on some fancier shoes you know and you just take a boring plain old maybe shorts and t-shirt outfit and it just makes you look extra special I also love this gold pendant necklace from Amazon that I've had for a few years. I like to wear gold jewelry in the summer whenever I have a tan and this is very inexpensive and uh, it's super cute. Another accessory that is fun for summer are some dangling earrings and you can buy dangling earrings you know all different price points but if you get some that have like colored glass beads uh, that can really, you know, make your outfit uh, look very cohesive. Say you're wearing, I don't know, like green shorts. You could wear like some earrings with some green in them. Or if you're wearing like um, white jeans and then say you want to go pink or red or something for your top, your shoes. And just a earring with a little bit of pink in it can really bring your outfit together. They don't have to be expensive and I'll link some of my favorites below in the pinned comment. And you can always find everything that I talk about and show to you in the pinned comment as well as in the description box. By right underneath the video title you'll see maybe a sentence or two of writing and then you're going to see more and three dots. Click on the more that expands the description box and shows everything that I talk about as well as it lists all of my discount codes for any brands that I have collaborated with and can save you some money. So always be sure to check out that description box. And I also would love it if you could follow me on the LTK app. You can also follow me on the LTK website. It is free. It's basically an app where the influencers that you follow, and that's where I post like outfits of the day or any um, flash sales through the LTK app because the LTK app is just like a, an app that organizes a lot of different stores. And if you say like this blouse and there's a little heart, you can click on the heart and it will send you a notification or an email saying when this top comes on sale. 
So, you know, follow me on there. If you see any posts of mine that you like, be sure to click on the heart. And whenever there's a sale, you will get notified of the sale. And there's always sales just through the LTK app. So uh, I know for Memorial Day weekend, they had a lot of different um, stores that had special savings through the LTK app. So be sure to follow me there if you aren't. I think some nice sandals are a must for summer and it's nice to have several options. And I'm just going to list off a few of my favorites. You know I like my Tory Burch Miller sandals. I have those in two different colors. I also love the Tory Burch Cloud sandals. The Tory Burch Miller sandals are very flat. There's not going to be any really um, support in them. However, the Miller Cloud sandals do offer a bit of support and they have a much thicker footbed and it also has a little bit of arch support built in. I love mine. I also love my Mephisto Helen sandals. You know how much I love them. I just bought a new pair in just a really light beige color because I thought it would look good whenever I have a tan. I like sandals that have the toe thong but you can also get them without it. If they're just slip-on sandals they have all different types. I also have recently discovered the Olakai brand and I bought a pair of their flip-flops and they are super comfortable and they have a little bit of arch support as well. Now none of these sandals of course are going to give you as much arch support as say your orthotic sandals but they do offer some. I have flat feet, wide feet, and I can walk around all day in any of the sandals that I have mentioned to you and not, you know, have tired, aching feet at the end of the day. Because footwear is very important to me. And um, I, I've suffered with plantar fasciitis in the past. And I never want that again. It is so, so painful. And I just ordered these sandals by Clarks. I have never had a pair of sandals that um, have a strap on the back. I've always just liked the kind where you slip the foot in. But my daughter wore her sandals um, in Hawaii and she was saying how comfortable they are and she really enjoys wearing sandals with the strap on the back. So I thought, well, I'm going to try Clark's. They had a sale on the other day and uh, hopefully I get them sometime this week and I'll be able to share them with you. I think if you can wear a small heel, it's also fun to have maybe a pair of slingback uh, sandals or shoes in your summer wardrobe. Because you could go from day to night, you could wear like a, this outfit that I'm wearing. This is a top from Chico's. I have Talbot linen shorts on and, you know, wear running shoes. But say if we were traveling, I could just change out my shoes and it's going to give the outfit a whole different vibe. So it's nice to have different options and different colors. I suggest uh, if you're beginning with like shoes or sandals, maybe start with um, flesh colored sandals or shoes that match your particular skin tone. But it's also fun, I think, to add pops of color. Now, if you don't want to go too wild and be a little more conservative like I'm being, I ordered them in, I think it was navy or maybe a light blue, because I know I wear a lot of blue. Uh, if you want to be more venturesome, you might want to order some fun green or yellow or orange or red. You know, just have fun with it. And I think a fun accessory to also have in the summertime is just a, um, a lightweight and very airy looking purse. I picked this up recently from Talbot's. It is a crossbody and it comes out every year. I believe this year it is lined in gold. Last year it was a different color. It does have the strap and there are compartments, um, you know, inside there's a zipper compartment and then just one where you can pop your phone in. You can carry it as a handbag or as a crossbody. It's super cute. I will also link some different ones that I've seen on Amazon. Um, I do need a bigger purse. I'm just somebody that likes like a medium size to large size purse. I will use this, but I uh, probably won't use this every day. But you know, if I'm going out somewhere, um, I would definitely use this, but I, I'm still looking for one that is um, just a little larger because I have so much stuff that I have to carry in my purse, like my reading glasses, my sunglasses, you know, your wallet, just stuff that we think that we need. I know I probably carry too much stuff, but that's just the way that I am. I think if you can get a cute bandana or like a silk scarf that you can wear as like a headscarf, you could, uh, you know, cover your hair and protect your head from the sun. I've seen lots of women, was it Jackie O back in the day, she would tie like a nice silk scarf on her, um, her head to protect her hair if she was driving like so it didn't get windblown. 
You can also wear it like around your neck. You can tie it around your neck. You can also tie it onto your purse. If you have like a plain colored purse and you just want to, you know, add a little bit of interest to it, you can get those um, silk ties, even on Amazon, tie it to your purse and it just like, I don't know, it just creates a little bit of interest and brings a little bit of fun and attention to whatever handbag you're carrying that day. I think it's also fun to have a summer fragrance that uh, sort of is your signature scent and I have three. The one that I absolutely love and wear all the time is by Bobbi Brown and it is Beach. I particularly only wear this in the spring and summer because it definitely smells, it makes me think of being at the beach. It smells like uh, water, sand and you know sunscreen mixed into one. I love it and it just has a nice spray. Super super fun and brings me back to my childhood. Next one that I really like is by Miss Dior and it is her Silky Body Mist. I'm not sure if this is still available but I will do my best to try and find it. This is very lightweight and I actually like to put this on at night after I've had my shower. I love perfume, I love smelling nice and I wear it for myself. So that's why I kind of put it on at night. And I really like this one by Jo Malone and oh gosh, I cannot pronounce the name. I'll put it across the screen. This is also a lovely scent. It's not overpowering. This is the only Jo Malone scent that I can wear without getting a migraine. So that's why I bought, this is the smaller size, I believe, of, or maybe it only comes in this one size. I can't remember. It's a couple years old, but um, it does last throughout the day, but don't expect it to be like in your face type of a scent. It's very, very subtle, very feminine. It's floral. Uh, all of these, you know, are a clean smelling scent. Perfect for summer. So the next accessory I think that is great for summer is nail polish. And I have only recently in the last couple of months been getting my nails done. And I, I actually have go to somebody because these are gel nails because they will last me two to three weeks. But I will be getting this off this week because my uh, nail technician said to, you have to give your nails a rest whenever you have gel nails because they can dry out your, your nail bed. So I do have nail polish um, on hand. And these are just some of the fun shades that I have. This one is by Essie. It is Mod Mod Squad or Mod Square. It's 224. This one is by Essie. It's minimalistic. I also have one by OPI and it's Bally Slippers. And that's actually the, the color that Queen Elizabeth would wear all the time. And then I have this one by OPI. This one is Mod About You. Now I am not very good at doing my own nails. That's kind of why I went to... Um, a nail technician but I may try doing uh, my nails this summer and you know try and get some practice with my left hand because it does get costly getting your nails done and then you have to you know pay extra to get it taken off because there's a special stuff they put on and it bubbles up and then they scrape it off so those are just some fun colors that I like and if you want just like a plain uh, clear polish that has just the tiniest hinge of like a light pink in it this one by Dior, it's their Nail Glow. Um, I will sometimes just put that on. And you know, if I make a mistake, it's not as noticeable as if it was a colored polish. So summertime is a perfect time to show off some arm candy. And I'm talking about some bracelets. I love these beaded bracelets. These are from Talbot's. Uh, I also have the ones from last fall, they're silver. And I have some from Amazon. I have one that has an evil eye and then some that are just plain. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I'm going to link a whole bunch of different ones. This is from J. Crew. It is a pearl uh, bracelet that I bought a few years ago. Pearls are very on trend this year. I love pearls. They're classic. They are the stone of June and my birthday's in June. So that's why I love them. They go with shorts like I'm wearing today or you can wear them with a ball gown. They're so, so chic looking. I love them. So, you know, have a whole bunch of bracelets on your arm and, uh, you know, let your personality shine through by wearing some arm candy this summer. And if you like the idea of wearing a belt, I'm going to link a few. I personally don't like wearing a belt. Maybe I'll change my mind after I've lost more weight, but right now I just don't like how a belt looks on me. But I think that if you have like a nice straw or if you have a rattan belt, 
If you want to cinch your waist and kind of make a little bit of an hourglass shape, a belt can be a great way to do that. Personally, because I have a belly, I am an apple body shape. I try to avoid things in my midsection. Now, I do have this dress from Spanx that I really do love. It has a belt. Sometimes I'll wear it with the belt. Sometimes I'll wear it without the belt. But you can notice that the belt is pretty much underneath my bust. And if you're an apple shape like me, that's where I would recommend wearing the belt. Because if you put it like where your belly button is, it's just going to bring attention to that area. And it's just going to not be flattering. So, you know, try a belt. You might like it. You don't know until you try. I think it's a great idea to have like a kimono or even just a linen shirt that you can wear as a third piece. Because say if you're just wearing basic jeans or shorts and you know, like a t-shirt, if you put on like a colorful kimono, I'll link a few from Amazon, or even like a no iron linen shirt, Chico's has some really great ones with patterns and solid colors. Roll up your sleeves a little bit and that just takes like a really simple outfit to the next level. And if you wear like all um, one color, so a column of color, so like your t-shirt and your shorts are the same color and you add like a pop of color uh, with that third piece, that is really going to be striking and it's going to be flattering. Be sure to go check out my most comfortable shoes video if you haven't seen it. And I just want to thank you so much for your support and for spending time with me today. If you aren't subscribed, I hope that you'll click that button. It is 100% free and I bring videos to you twice a week. You can also fi find me on Instagram and on the Like to Know It app. Thank you so very much for spending time with me today and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.